Hello, welcome to module 3 of your course and in this module we'll be looking at formatting to impress. How do you format your cover letter to impress the recruiter or to, to impress the admission officer or whoever you're writing your cover letter to? So how do you format it? So this is what this lesson is going to be talking about. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is font size. Your font size should be between 10 point and 12 point. Less than 10 point and it's going to look too tiny. And if it is more than 12 point, it's going to look too big. It's better to thread carefully and just stick with the 10 point and 12 point. So you also need to avoid writing in caps and fancy fonts. I've seen a lot of cover letters and even CVs written in capital letter and merely looking at this document all the information are jumping at you at the same time, all the information are screaming for attention at the same time. So for you to avoid your your letter, your cover letter, not impressing the, the recruiter, you need to avoid using capital letters. Some fonts are fancy and this is a business letter and it should be kept as professional as possible. For the font style, we are looking at your choice of font style. This should be clear, easy to read, and consistent when you're writing your cover letter make sure that the font style is clear easy to read and consistent you need to use basic fonts like it could be the times the new the times new roman the calibri area cambria or verdana and some other business approved font style the rule of the game is consistency you need to be consistent you don't you don't want to use different font style in one particular document especially in the body of the new sometimes you see different font style and it's as if you're going on in a loop when you look at the the, the letter and you're seeing that the font style are not uniform it can discourage the the reader it can discourage the recruiter from reading your letter so please be consistent if you want to use times new roman stick to times new roman if it is calibri if it is verdana whichever one you you're choosing make sure you stick to it and you're consistent throughout the letter then your choice of font style should match the font in your cv or resume you're going to be a attaching your cv and your resume so there's something about the branding so you can also brand yourself this is about personal branding so your cover letter should have the same font as your cv and your resume so just make sure that is consistent then the total paragraph should be between three and five there is no point having a lengthy cover letter make sure you're sticking to three to between three to five paragraphs your total length should not exceed one page, except you are being told otherwise. There are some cover letters that the recruiter will require that you write about 350 words, write about 1,000 words. So unless that is clearly stated, make sure you stick to a one-page cover letter. In module four of this course, we'll be discussing the unconventional cover letter. So for this unconventional cover letter, the the, the page is actually more than one page so if you're not asked to write or if you're not given a specific format or you're given a specific length for your cover letter just stick to a one page cover letter a one page motivation letter for admission just keep it simple we have come to the end of this lesson thank you for listening bye